Hello guys, this is going to be an unboxing of the in-case perforated snap case for the iPod Touch 2nd and 3rd generation since they share the same form factor. And <clears throat> the case that I used previous to this case is was the, um, the in-case lighter, which is right here. It's a very sleek and elegant design. There's nothing really wrong with the case itself. Let me switch this camera to macro focus. There's nothing really wrong with the case itself. I just wanted a new design. So I'm just going to show you guys how the case looks on the iPod. I'm pretty sure you, you've you've seen this case before. It's a very popular case, and it's that simple. The installation is that quickly, and like I said before, the case looks very nice. It's just that I had this case for a very long time, and I want something new. So let's get to the unboxing of the the in case preferred it's snap case. So this is how it looks. This is how the box and the packaging looks. All right. And here's the case itself. I'm just going to put the case on the iPod just to show you guys how it looks on the iPod. It adds hardly any thickness to the design. It's pretty much just like the um the air jacket. I think it was made from DLO. I'm not entirely sure what manufacturer it was. But it's pretty much the same design. But this one has these nice holes or grills, which shows off a little bit of that nice silver polish on the back of the iPod without showing the scratches as well. All your buttons are accessible. And the ports. Let me get a bit of light in. So this case cost me about thirty dollars, and at a, to be honest with you, you you get a stand as well. But I wouldn't really say this case's value is that is its strong point. I would, I would actually prefer this case be around twenty dollars. Plus for thirty dollars, I think they're asking for a bit too much. But the design and everything else so far, I pretty much like the case. But I was previously trying to get this versatile stand out and it seems like it's really wedged in there. Wait, let me see. Might have to damage the packaging to get it out. Alright, I got it out. This is the reversible stand. It's pretty much like well I think I got it the wrong way. It's actually like this. Put the tripod down a bit. That's how you that's how the iPod will look. This is the stand. So if you lay it down on a flat surface. And that is pretty much all you get in the packaging. This is this. I thought this was going to be a squeegee card for a screen protector, but I do not see a screen protector. So it's just basically letting you know that there is a reversible stand right here, and that is pretty much all you get in the packaging is the stand and the case itself. So hmm, that's pretty much all there is to the video. So far I really like the case. And if you guys have any questions or comments, just post them in the comment box or private mess me, message me. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you would like. And thanks for watching.